Hello YouTube, welcome to, um, I guess a new series on the Frozen Wilds. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Frozen Wilds, the DLC that came out for Horizon Zero Dawn. I believe it's the only planned one. I'm not absolutely certain that actually, don't quote me. But I'm getting that information from there not being a season pass in this game, or if there was, why did I pay 15 miles of Frozen Wilds? But yes, um, I'm doing this very late. I was meant to do it about a week ago, but I got ill. Uh, I got tired and ill and just... I ended up taking like four days off and then I was going to come back into recording and then family circumstances happened so I had to take another two days off so I've been off for around about a week now so this is the first chance I've actually got to record so I want to do this uh, because this game was amazing and I think we've not got along in Assassin's Creed Origins okay so since I last played this wait do I have 11 skills? Oh, I have 11 skill points. Oh, there's a new troll. A troll. A tree called Traveller. That's very new. Um, I haven't played this in a very long time. I platinumed it and then haven't played it since. Uh, okay, that is actually very useful. I want that. I've got your hold X on this. Wait, what? Oh, I don't see the point of that. Oh, but I would like the increased chance. I would like to be able to repair. When did this happen? When did this one come out? So I think I'm going to save one and then see if I'll unlock these three or these two. I actually, right now, I have no clue what I'm doing though. Because uh, it's been a while since I've been on this, so I'm unsure on how to do everything. Is this a new area? This is the new area. So I'm guessing this is where the Frozen Wilds start. I'm hoping there's actual missions in there. I'm just uh, a nuke encampment. Okay. I'm gonna go to the Banuke encampment, fast travel there. Okay, I'm starting to remember. There's somebody up here. Yariki. Ah, I can't use my mouse in this area. What are these? They're very cool, wherever they are. I just you thought know, we should get rid of... Ah, shit. Get rid of the mark. You know this path, Hunter. Seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south. Away from the Banuk. Past the Grave Horde. Anukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut. Instead of going all the way through Osteram territory. And take it from me. You want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. You're going to Meridian? Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just... Recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Ban Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. Okay, so they're side quests. Okay, I thought they'd be considered main quests. Um, quests are on the right. Here we go, let's go to the side. So we're going into the frozen wilds. Level 30, that's quite surprising to be honest. I thought there'd be, I guess it wouldn't be tailored for lower levels actually. Um, exp uh, explore the cut, so the rumors are spreading of strange events and we are Obviously going to investigate because we love that stuff. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuke shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuke is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future. Or possible 
back thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Mm. Okay, so this is before the final mission, so we still do have the mission to finish, uh, so that conversation did make sense. I was confused at first, but I remember I did check early, and we do have that mission to go. Uh, I'm going the wrong way here, I'm going with this one. I completely forgot about silence in this game. When you think this game's... Silence is actually quite a big part, but he's not really considered. In this game, if you get what I mean, I can't believe I can actually take those resistance to fire potions. Wrong button. Okay. How do we use my focus again? So, it's a scorcher. I was about to say, I don't think I've seen a scorcher before. So, the machine components, its weaknesses freeze, grey area to be living in. Play storage canisters shooting at them. Yep. So a trigger explosion. Oh, mine launcher would actually be quite useful. I think it'll be more useful to remove. I'm not gonna really use that, am I? Uh, this is the fourth time I'm fighting this thing. Pretty much, I am finding this impossible because I can't do any damage to it. And I have now been recording for 34 minutes. And they, this is all from fighting this, and I can't kill it. Oh. Okay, so pretty much power generator thing. When you remove it, it doesn't blow up. I found the fire things only blow up, blow up whenever they fancy. There you go, got that one. Oh, that one actually did some damage now. Jesus. There is more health I've had taken from it from all my other fights. Honestly, that has not done any damage to it before, and it's been really that's what's been annoying me that I can't do any damage to it. Oh, tree's falling. Now I don't know how to remove this thing. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, it's me now. That's cool. Um, it's never done that before. And I just did that really the wrong time. I can't dodge. Thank you. Okay. So it freezes its weakness, but this only does about 8 damage. Okay, or 1. I have a problem of dodging too early on then, once. Oh, that would have frozen as well. Oh, are you serious? There you go. Okay, oh, hey. no. How many times do I need to press out here? I've already hit it. Oh, I forgot that. I'm dead. Okay, that's usually killed me. Because uh, you can't dodge anything. I hate when it hits in When I'm pointing in the right direction, it moves a millimetre and it doesn't follow it. Well, I can't tell you to follow it after that, can I? And, okay. No damage done. See, I'm just really struggling to get any damage onto it. Re-eat that. I'm trying to keep on the water as well because the flat ground is a jump right to that. Can't dodge now. And I just thought, let's fucking freeze you. one you could do a critical strike there. There we go. Now now I should. But I might as well just hit it twice. Oh 
Sorry. There you go. All about the timing. This one is. Thank you, it should knock it down. Okay, that knocked it down last time. And I can't dodge. Oh, it's crap, I just suddenly did 200 damage. Holy shit, I'm getting 200 now. Where the hell did that, why did that happen? I would like to know why that happened, so I could do that again. And I think I'm gonna have to have my health potion here. Anything else I can do? I want to know how to remove which opponent is there. Okay, it's that one. How to remove them. I tried both the Tear Blaster and the Harvest, and neither of them did it, so I don't really know how to do it. Oh, I completely forgot about the Roadcaster, the best thing in this game. I'm really not like not I'm not liking not having my mount when Stop I can learn to talk. Because I just, I just it's so slow walking. I guess it makes you have to take in like the Aurora Borealis. I guess this isn't the Aurora Borealis. But like because that's the name of the one instance, not the whole instance. That's a welcome, I guess. Are they going to attack me? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're going to attack me. It didn't sound the friendliest of welcomes. That is a thumbnail right there. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm very unsure of this. Oh, yeah, you can hold this to go further. I completely ah, forgot. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. That's not good. You should never sweat in the heat. It makes you because sweat is your body's way of making yourself colder, not in the heat and cold. Um, yeah, don't sweat in the cold. That's what I'm gonna say. Because it's the body's way of you making you colder. Cold, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. The village too. I'm curious, actually, how did I, um, there we go, map does load. How did I unfog the map before? I'm trying to remember. Because I want to unfog this map, because I want to, I was about to say, I'm curious of what collectibles are around. If there are, this guy is wearing some cool ass clothing that I want. How are we to trust the chieftain after so many died under his command? I wish you could dive in the air. I'm greet the village. Young hunters have learned a lesson from Thunderstrom. Sometimes, loss is the price of survival. To be the new is to know Ah, oh, it's just painful going this slow. Is there a way of running? I completely forgot you can run. Okay, this music's just getting louder, so I'm gonna quick save right now, actually. I'm not gonna finish. I'm gonna go to the next cutscene, I think. I think this is gonna be a cutscene. I just want to quick save while I'm there. Here we go. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off.
Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave. All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum, and they believed it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off. And no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. 
<laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shop. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed. And the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a... We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this Daemon. Mm -mm, it's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. <sighs> I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Arata can tell me more about Rhea or Thunderstrom. She follows behind no Maybe other. Shot? Okay, so next episode we're going to go along the Shaman's path. So we'll come back to talk to uh, our attack, uh, as that is the optional thing, and then we will move on down there. There is also another mission back here, but I don't like that they're side missions because I can't see which ones are really important because I would only show the main missions now. But I don't know which ones are the main missions, which ones are side missions then. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry about the shortness of the episode. I'm guessing it's going to be after I've edited it down. I obviously can't record. You can, I'm hopefully going to edit out the gunshots from somebody playing Battlefield in the next room. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.